Hey, yo, 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 how we doing today? Nothing much over here. Work week is over. Just got done gaming a little bit with Charlie. We're on a Minecraft kick. And then uh, we're going to play some uh, Fortnite Lego after this. So He's certainly waiting on me. Now I'm going to give it a couple minutes. Enter the draft at 820. Or when my boys get into, into the lobby. And uh, what else? Uh, so, Diggs got traded. I believe that's just happened since I last streamed. I think it affects it affects uh, James Cook the most. Of all the people that it affects, I believe it affects James Cook the most. Clearly, they, I mean, unless they bring somebody in, which they could. Like a, a somebody, not just a regular, you know, regular dude. If they bring in somebody, that can affect it. But this could set him up for a bunch of work in general. A lot more, like, rushing touchdowns, stuff like that. So I, I think, I think uh, the person that benefits the most from this whole trade is... Um, this is Devin, uh, James Cook. Joe Mixon kind of benefits, too, because they're going to have more red zone, you know. They're going to have better efficiency on the offense, which means more red zone trips. That could be nice, but I don't know if I'm taking him instead. I'm still definitely going to be not smashing. I would raise James Cook like four or five picks for sure. Which, again, I have you on my TV in the living room. Give me a shout out to Freak My Roommate. What up, Blake? How we doing today, Mr. Blake Jackson in the house? Um, good to see you, Blake. Good to see you. Uh, we are uh, we're gonna be jumping in this draft in the next couple minutes. The big board. I should present the screen so you kind of know when I join. Present. Share screen. La da do, la da da. Hey, Felix, are you doing the big? Hit 10 likes? No. I need a hunt. I need 10 subs. I need 10 subs to do a big, the biggest board. If we get to 240, uh, is it 240? What, what am I at? Or 340? I know my numbers. I don't know why. I can't think of it right now. If we get to 340, we'll do it. I need these puppy dresses to start up here. I'm getting impatient. <laughs> no, I, I need I need 10 YouTube subscribers. I need to get to 340 before we do a biggest board. By the end of this stream. And it's only going to go up by ten, so so tomorrow, like, you know, next Tuesday I got to get to three fifty. So if we're not three fifty, we're not doing them. I don't think I'm asking too much. Ten subscribers per per episode. We don't get there. We don't get there. All right, we're going to do the draft at twenty after. Just a he heads up, twenty after whatever time it is for your clock. What else has happened? Uh, Rasheed Rice is still an idiot. Now he doesn't even have a fall guy to blame who was driving. To be fair, I wouldn't let anybody else drive my Lambo either. What a silly goose. What a silly goose. Uh -huh. da, 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 da. Let's see here. Yeah, we need to get. I mean, we haven't hit ten likes yet, though. We need to get at least. We didn't even hit five likes on Tuesday. We need to get at least five, y'all. At least five likes. We're up. Well, this month says one, two. two. We're at two likes. Okay. Huh. We're. To 20%. No, we're 40% there. Let's hit 5 before we even hit 10. Ah, 
Shisa. Oh, shit, it's swing after. God, that goes by so fast. Waiting for two people. Holmes is on my desk. Download the free app. App. App play. Do you? Uh, so you drop some water with the chicken. You smash the chicken. Water goes places. Oh, it's like a kinder egg. Waiting on two people. I'm not used to these uh, players ADP yet. This, uh, this draft is going to be rough. Yeah, that's all right. Good thing. Good news is, is that you're practicing before you start doing your draft. These are practice drafts. I know they cost ten dollars to practice, but if you go to a batting cage and take some swings, you know it's you gotta pay for it. It's not free. Yeah, it's just yeah. You go to the batting cage, get some. You gotta pay for your reps. Here, we're just paying for our reps. That's all. So that when we get to the game, BBM, TK, Millie, we're ready, ready to dominate. You know what would be awesome? If they did two Millie Makers, if they did like one for like the, if they did like a $100 draft and a, and a $10, that would be cool. Because I don't think they could fill a 20, which is wild. I used to think that 20 bucks is too expensive on DraftKings. And underdog fills the 25. <clears throat> if they did a $10, they filled that up. Hopefully they don't go back to five. Five, five was. They, I feel like they fucked up when they went to five. So, a lot more people just throwing away drafts when it didn't work out for them. Holy cannoli! I, I am not a popular streamer. We only got, you know, two people here. Flatwood seems like the underdog is frozen. Oh shit! What does that mean? I don't think I have my. Hold on, yes, I do. Thank you, Flatulent Flink. You thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Blake is on the clock. It looks like he does he didn't know it either. Uh, I mean, there's better things or worse things than getting auto drafted Tyree Kill. So, do I throw auto? Oh, she Isa. Oh, she Isa. Oh, this is awful. Okay, so it should be my turn up. No, nope, not yet. I'm on the clock. So the pick has been made. Okay. I don't have almost any shares of ASB, so we're going to grab our first share of ASB. I don't know. What is going on? Seems like I'm going to hit the refresh. Oh boy. It's not the app on the phone is even working. I'm already three picks away. Oh, shit. Wait, what? I'm, I'm not three picks away. Okay. Good to know. Well, well, well. This is going to take forever. <laughs> I might not go lie to you. I'm not doing this. 
<laughs> if this is how it's going to be, I'll do 10 rounds, and then I'm calling it a fucking night. If this is how it's going to be the entire time. Uh, I'll, I'll, guys, I'll let you know. I'm, I guess I want to just go fucking solo here. Just read off the picks as they fucking happen. So after me, Brees Hall went. Justin Jefferson went to Waza. Uh, Aaron sitting at triple zeros. Aaron gets Puka Nakua. Wait, hold up. The fantasy football show? Is Homeboy in the stream right now? Uh, am I subscribed to him? Oh yeah, he's on. A, he's in the draft. Looks like he's having problems on his stream too. I'll say I'm waiting for one person. Too many crickets. This is terrible. All right, so after Puka, the general went. A.J. Brown, the fantasy football guy, uh, with Kyron Williams. Derek, yo, yo, yo. Um, McMeads went. Oh, shit. It just erased everything. Okay, look back. Garrett Wilson, Greg London. Jameer Gibbs went to the fantasy football show. I had the same issue in another draft I started a few minutes ago. It was so bad I just put it on auto pack and gave up. Yeah, I'm about to give up on this on this stream. It, it just seems like it's not meant to happen today. I, I, holy shit, this is a shit show. Um, so I'm up to four picks. I'm sure I'm close, if not up. <clears throat> Marvin Harrison Jr. goes to the general. So we're we're doing a draft with the face of football show, apparently, as well. <laughs> so I'm sure some of his guys are in here. Two picks. Uh, Jonathan Taylor goes to Aaron FNW. Waza is on the clock. Happened the other night as well. Odd because I don't remember it being an issue in the past. They probably updated something and it just fucked with their code. And they probably they probably don't know where the the issue is. At least that's how I used to be when I was coding. It's like, oh, everything's fine, everything's fine. You misplaced one fucking forward slash and it fucking ruins the whole page. It's it's a, something small like that can ruin something. Like, you know what I mean? So it could it could just be something small. It is my pick. So I'm gonna throw Devin A chain. Chris Olave. Tried to draft Devin A chain. I don't know. It looks like he went through. Okay. So now Demo zone is on the clock. I'm up at 10 picks. Otani home run ball brings drama. The fan who caught Shohei Otani's first Dodger dinger probably isn't happy with how she was treated. Oh boy. I gotta see what this is about. Could even avoid drama with Shohei Otani's first home run with the team. Uh, man, ads are fucking ridiculous. Holy.
This Dodgers home run. Boom. Oh, solid contest. That's what I, I want to, I want to, I put a, some money on Shohei's home run. That's why I want some money. I bet I bet ten people to, like to for home run uh, home run props yesterday. I got four of them. I am definitely not uh, a base, baseball guy. Okay, so after me, Demo went Saquon. Willie Schools went DJ Moore. Mister Blake went. Debo Samuel. Okay, that didn't really tell me anything, though. Do, do, do. There was a very established process when a fan catches a milestone home run, such as so Tommy's first home run with the Dodgers. The ball legally belongs to the fan, who will quickly be escorted from their seats so the team officials can speak with them, work out with what it will take them to part with the ball, Sometimes all it takes is a little sign memorabilia. Other times, cold hard cash. Crucially, the fan is well within their rights to make to the ball go home. This practice goes back decades, but the Dodgers could not avoid this unnecessary drama when he happened to Otani's homer on Thursday. <clears throat> the fan who caught the Otani's ball is married, lifelong Dodgers fan named Ambar Roman, and she had her husband, and she and her husband didn't sound very happy while speaking to the Athletic on how they were treated by the Dodgers after they walled it up in her hands. All right, refreshing underdog. Okay. Two picks away. We'll read the rest of that story here in just a second. Happily take Malik. Oh, I should read off who's gone off. Um, after Blake Plittle went Chris Olave, Nico Collins after him, Mike Evans, Stefan Diggs, Michael Pittman, Josh Allen, Demo is on the clock. I'm either getting Malik Neighbors or uh, Jalen Waddle here. I'm going to get Malik Neighbors. All righty. As Roman tells the story, she was escorted from the stands, separated from her husband, pressured into giving the ball for the next to nothing, and ultimately gave up the ball for two signed hats, a signed baseball and a signed bat. An auction house told the Athletic the ball would be worth at least $100,000. As her husband, Alexis Venezuela, put it, they really took advantage of her, Venezuela said, there were a bunch of guys around her. They would not let me talk to her or give her any advice. There was no way for us to leave. They had pretty much cornered her in the back. So like she was there for the gang bay. Um, I think the draft is back to normal now. It's like kind of back to normal. Let's, let's refresh this. Let's see if it's back to normal. Uh, Let's go ahead and try to present it again. We'll see. I mean, it looks, it looks all right. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yo, 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 EJ, dress for today. I didn't know. Or else I would have just pushed the stream to next week. I didn't see that anywhere. Is it, is it posted anywhere that their their draft fucked up? I should be compensated with the free draft. This room should count, but I should get a free a free entry. I like my team so far. Oh man, Jamal Murray rolled out Thursday. Hopefully that doesn't affect. Them too much. Do 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 do. Wah, bah, 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 bah. So what are we looking at here? 
I think T is a good bet here. Make a bet, little bet on the Bengals. Where's Mark Andrews? He goes to 54. We want Lamar here. We could still get Andrews. And we can build out a Charger sex because they do play each other. We don't know when they're going to play each other. It could be first week or it could be week 17. The possibilities are endless. But I do like James Cook right now, too. Oh, you did not help me out there, Christy. I needed somebody to pick somebody I wanted. Uh, you know what? We're going to go James Cook. Make a small bet on the on James Cook. Actually, it's a pretty big bet. Fourth round pick. It's all right, though. It looks like a 35-second clock. I need it, man. I need it. It would freeze up and go to zero and not advance after you make the selection. I thought it was at the app, but it's on the desktop as well. Snipe cooked for me. Dude, I didn't know. To be fair, I put a, I made like seven shorts, and I just didn't put it up about talking about how much Cook was like the winner of all this, of this whole thing. Of this whole uh, trade, I, I, I'm Dix is going into a crowded wide receiver receiving you know target share, unless C.J. Stroud, which I don't think he will, has only eyes for him. I, I don't see that happening. You know, you, I think you could get naked Stroud and be okay with it. You know, because. At any point, any of his his talent could pop off, right? On top of all of his wide receiving options and tight end options, he has Joe Mixon back there. So it's like that whole offense looks good. Um, and then uh, on the other side, the Bills, they're going to draft running backs or wide receivers. They have to draft at least two wide receivers. Clue Shakir and Curtis Samuel – are not good enough to cut it for. Maybe it's because I don't like Curtis Samuel, but I don't think that that's good enough for for this team. So I think they're going to have to get I, – I, I can see them trading up with, like, the Steelers or something and potentially getting like Brian Thomas. Not sure yet, but they definitely need to, need a wide receiver. That is for sure. What are we going here with Demo? What are we going here, Demo? The Ozone. DM the Ozone. Leia. Playa. He's got three running backs, one wide receivers. Bijan, Saquon, Josh Jacob, and T. I think goes Mark Andrews. Interesting. Very, very interesting. We going here, Christy. What'd you get? You got AR. Did you get Pittman? I saw somebody get Pittman earlier. It was near me. What am I doing here? Yeah, boom. You did get Pittman, and you got AR. Damn. Oh, I you, oh because you took AR. Wait, you took an AR hell early. I guess he may not have come back because this drafter might have taken him. But this drafter should be taken. He should be taking Patrick. Because all right, he did take Patrick Mahomes. McDonald's McHolmes. The Fantasy Football Show. I forget his name. I watch him throughout during the during the year. A little bit before the year. I can't. He's a little a little wordy for me. A little too long in the show for me. 
I wanted James Cook, but someone took him. I don't know. Was it me? Or I guess it was me. But I just took James Cook. You, I mean, you're talking about James Cook. I took James Cook. <laughs> I don't. Know. I got nothing. Uh, I like. I like the fantasy football show though. He's a. Uh, He's uh, very, very good on camera. I had uh, someone gifted me a sub to his channel. So it was nice. I didn't. I, I think I, I'm sub to like three channels. Uh, I'm sub to Stochastic, Splash Play. I might be it. I might be just be two. I think I was to. Was to the fantasy football show, but I don't know, I'm not really a part of that community that much. Anyway, <sighs> I had to cut him out of my uh, of my stuff. But he's good at late late night television. I had to cook the flock last year. I've had to cut a few shows. It's just there's not enough time. In the day for, I mean, I listen to 2X for 13 hours a day. <laughs> I gotta cut, I gotta make budget cuts somewhere. I'm thinking about Rotoviz cutting them out, but I do like uh, Sean and, <laughs> and the boys over there. <sighs> I didn't end up getting tea, so we're gonna pass on that. We're gonna grab Calvin. Ridley. Is there any scoop there? There's a little bit of a scoop. Ah, a couple bits of scoops. I'm pretty much basic bitch right now, dude. But honestly, I just want to... Because I already know in the big board, or in the in best ball mania, I'm going to go ham on what I want specifically. I'm going to adjust my rank, so it's going to be easy to get who I want. Right now, I just kind of want to Get a little piece here and there. Try to get 100% Gabe Davis, but I can't seem to get a share of Gabe Davis since I started streaming again. <sighs> so I was chilling out in the living room waiting for me to get done with this draft. I'm glad I kind of just waited this out. It's back to working. See here. I want two hundred dollars uh, the other day. I, I bet like four baseball games to put ten bucks down. I bet the Cardinals and something. And they were like the underdog. But the, I think it was like two underdogs and two like one hundred uh, minus one hundreds. Put ten dollars down. I won two hundred bucks. That was two hundred and thirty dollars. Guess what? It's all gone. <laughs> to be fair. Not gone, but it has been placed in another bit. Two, one, three. So you're probably done at quarterback, unless you take like a twentieth round guy. So yeah, and there's so many running backs and whatnot here. It's tough not to go there. Oh, good pick, Evan Ingram. I like it. I like it a lot. We're just going to fill this whole team up with. Oh, I didn't even notice <laughs> that I was, uh, I was up here, not all the way up here. Well, I can go Christian Watson here. Should I go? I don't want to go Christian Watson. Perfect. 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 Okay, I put ten dollars for O'Neill Cruz to hit a home run. What is that game playing? That shit starts tomorrow. Whoops. <laughs> oh well. Pay sixty five dollars.
Let's see here. I picked uh, the Blues to keep it in within 1.5, and Jordan Cairo, anytime goal scorer, currently within 1.5. Well, Andre Stevenson goes to the fantasy football show. Dude's got four running backs. He's got a pairing of Dante Smith and Jalen Hurts. It's not bad. Not bad. Not too shabby. I'm not personally a big fan of uh, too many RBs. I just feel like everybody's discounting, saying how bad the running backs are late, but I actually kind of like the running backs late. Or like, or I should say mid round, because I'm getting tight ends late typically. <sighs> All righty, I need the Hurricanes to score. Two more goals. The general. Nick Chubb. I don't know, man. Nick Chubb over Najee just seems silly. Just seems silly to me. DeAndre Swift I can get. He has the upside. Eckler seems silly over Najee. I'll probably end up with Jalen Warren. Najee seems to always go right in front of me. Christy looks like a Najee drafter to me. He looks like a Najee drafter to me. Yeah. 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 But who took Jordan Love? That son of a bitch. The general. Dude doesn't have a single thing to go with it, but that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's just sad. All right, through eight rounds, I have ASB, Devin A. Chain, Malik Neighbors, James Cook, George Pickens, Calvin Ridley, Christian Watson, Jalen Warren. I feel like I have upside everywhere. Actually, you could probably just bat a couple, a couple singles or doubles. Slow it down on the home run picks here. He's my biggest single, single shooter. Ba, ba, ba. Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Is there anything going on on Twitter? Is where I go for my. Most people ask why I'm getting my colonoscopy for the recommended age. Uh, you know, check in. I wanted James to but someone took him. I'm sorry. I will be. Checking in with the doctors myself. Set up an appointment tomorrow. I had a little little blood in the urine. Apparently that could be passing a kidney stone. I could have cancer. I don't know. There's a lot of things underneath the uh, blood and urine. So hopefully it's not cancer. Hopefully it's just a kidney stone. Hopefully it's, I'd rather take a UTI or some kind of, I don't care. I just don't want cancer. Sucks that James from uh, the Fantasy Degenerate got it. He had stage four, man. It's crazy. It's crazy the things that somebody I kind of watched got it. I don't want to be number two. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I like I like Samir. 
a little, it's like a very balanced uh, core, running back wide receiver room. Problem is, I, I don't have a quarter. <laughs> I don't have a quarterback yet. I still have my options open with Levis. I don't know. Jared Goff hasn't gotten yet either. <laughs> I have no idea where Malik Neighbors is going to go. He could go to Herbert. NFL teams to have a winless regular season, 24-25. Panthers plus two thousand. No, Titans. No, Broncos. I put my plus three thousand. Was that three hundred bucks for ten buck bet? Right. If I was to bet, someone's going to go winless. That's who I'd put it on. I could be wrong, but that's if I was to say someone was going to have zero wins. It's never the Giants. So I live in, I, I should say, I, I work in the Raleigh area, and uh, NC State is the college here, I guess, and uh, they have been losing their fucking mind over this over this little run they've had here. I guess a lot of people I work with have uh, cheer for that team. Demo Mr. Mr. Blake has got Lamar, A. Rich, Camara, Zach Moss, Singletary, Tyreek Hill, Debo, Michael Pittman, and Evan Ingram. I like your wide receiver room and your tight end. I like your quarterbacks. Eh, your running backs, you know. Leave something to be desired, but that's pretty much any back room backfield right now. I'm trying to think what you sh should go. I don't guess that Gabe doesn't even make it back to me. I think you should go Trevor and hope Gabe falls to you, but maybe I don't know. No, you don't need Gabe or T, uh, T Law. Yeah, that's smart. Smart, Mr. Blake. I can't seem to get another share of my boy Gabe. I think I need to start taking him in the tenth. He was my he was going in the one fifties, and so, so I said I'm just going to automatically take him in the eleventh. You know, no matter what. Uh, since I started streaming again, he hasn't made it past. This is the latest I've seen him make it to is one eighteen. So. I think 10th round is where he's got to be automatic. He's now lost his 11th round automatic. See, you know, an 11th automatic pick or 10th automatic pick. Uh, TJ Spears, TJ Tajay, Jared Goof, Chupa Hubbard, Jonathan Brooks, Khalil Shakir. Am I going to be on the clock for that pick? Technically, it wouldn't be there. That's who I was going to go. Anywho, so go ahead, go Quentin Johnson, Johnston. Just so we have something stacking with it. A message request, Mandy Hale. Hey, mate. That's interesting. Looking for a freelancer to bring your Twitch profile to life. I specialize in designing streaming assets 
that will make you stand out. Get custom Twitch overlays, logo animations, emote badges that reflect your unique style. Thank you, Mandy Hale. I'll get back to you someday. Someday. Why is that you trending? What are you trending? Eric Rom said he's feeling. He said he's uh, seen the fans asking him to recruit Brandon. He's in Fran, San Fran. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't see anything special there. Jaden Daniels. What's the fantasy football show got going on? Jalen Hurst, Jaden Daniels. I like this team. I don't like his receivers. I like his team. I agree with you. Gabe Davis is an absolute steal. I didn't, th- didn't want to take a second QB, but it's a fun thing with it. Lamar Average. Yeah, it is a fun team. I think having fun teams and big board is what it's all about. It's what it's all about. Yeah, Davis is, is an absolute steal. These people that shit on Gabe Davis all the fucking time, come catch me outside. Um, I, I, I think he's just going to win. And, like, he's home. Something about being home, you know, makes you can play well. I know, I know, I'm up. Go ahead, get get Patty, get Patty the fatty. He's put on a couple pounds, starting to look like me. So why was I you trending? Because I just looked through all this shit. And... I don't see anything. If I get traded, Greg Jennings, or whatever his name is, Juan Jennings, would be a nice pickup. Troy Franklin, James Wright, Jalen Wright, Randy Cooks, Michael Wilson. Oh, man, oh, man, what the hell did I do to the screen? I hear the hot mess. Um, da, 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 da. I put five picks. Need a cookie or something, man. Fading very quickly. Dude, we are in the 13th fucking round. What is going on? Why is it taking so long? Did people just leave? Is this going to auto draft? What's going on, guys? My exhaustion is tired. I am pooped. We're just going to go back to back tight ends here, I think.
Be the Eilish is trending. Also got a tattoo on her hip. Okay, Keenan Allen. Why are you trending? Uh, Leah Murphy says, obviously this is a terrible deal for the Texans compared to having two additional options at 18 million. Uh, Leah Murphy spinning everything like he usually does so that it favors him and his teams. That dude was meant to be in a courtroom spinning everything. The dude can turn any issue that he has into a fucking win. Ultimate cut, man. Ugh. Let me sell you this trash for a million dollars. Let me tell you why it's amazing. Why is that the first thing that pops up? Before trading Stephon Diggs, the Texans may at least made a call on Keenan Allen. After looking at both their reception perception profiles, I can see Diggs playing in that Keenan Allen type of role. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who else is turned in? Mm. Michigan? Seven, sixteen hundred posts. This daydream, she's dangerous. See you tomorrow. Port Huron, Michigan. Swifty. And it's a blonde chick. So not football related. <laughs> There's some guy yelling. Hired freaking dude needs to take a shower. Sweating profusely there. Making me nervous. All right, Michael, we're gonna go three tight ends. Michael Mayer. Come on down. Breaking on a bet on the Pittsburgh team, the Las Vegas Raiders, Chargers, and the Packers. Small little bets. Small little bets. Small little stacks. Bop, bop, bop. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I'm actually kind of curious what the what that guy's saying about me. Or right, if it's probably not even, not even putting it on this fucking screen, probably. Ship chasing. Sean Siegel, favorite 2024 rookies. Coca Cola is urgently hiring warehouse workers. I do not want to work in a warehouse, unfortunately. I don't think I would I would do well there. I'm uncoordinated. Will Levis goes. I didn't realize he goes this early. Oh, well. Uh, Gibson, Elijah Mitchell. P. Littles, stop drafting. That's it. Twenty three hundred people post about Drake May. Drake May just looks like a patriot, but maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully, JJ McCarthy's a patriot.
man, oh man. What else is going on? Kyle Dvorak on the scene scouting for my first fantasy baseball league. Looks like he's at a baseball game, wherever he lives. Um, next on the clock, we had a little bit of a tight end run there with Kate Otten, Conklin, and John Lee Smith going. Do not need a tight end. Do not have Seattle. Jalen Polk is on the chopping block here. Ray Davis. What's that? Okay, so I can. I don't have to worry about Mr. Blake getting me. It's on the other side of me. I want Ray Davis, but I am not expecting to get Ray Davis. Tomahawk steak with garlic herb compound butter. That's those words know the way to my heart. Four four. Neil Orfield at nine o'clock. Probably going live here in a second. It was live with JMB. I've heard of his name, but I don't know why. Man. Oh, man, oh man. What else is going on, y'all? What's going on in your, your life, man? What's going on in your other lives? Blake out here watching me on a TV screen with his buddy. That's interesting. How's everybody doing, man? I'm tired of working. I want to do this for a living. <laughs> I don't make enough money yet. $20 enough is not enough, unfortunately. I think if I got to $500 after taxes, I could quit my job at my current uh in my current living expenses, I can I can finagle that to work. So we need four hundred eighty more dollars. Where I can kind of quit and bear down on this man, because I think if I if I had five hundred dollars base, I could work on it full time, kind of thing. I think I could make it work. I think. I think I can. Boop, do, do, do. Ray Davis. Ray Davis. Ray Davis. Ray Davis. Ray Davis. As long as I'm not dead. Well, if I'm dying, I'm probably going to quit my job. Eh, I got good health insurance to them, so maybe we won't quit my job. I'm in my head. I'm in my head. Man, oh man. So I uh I was on record of saying it, but I mean on a podcast or on here, but I'm a Malik neighbors over Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm gonna go and watch uh every target thrown to both guys. But I have a feeling I'm going to come out liking Brian Thomas more than him. But we'll, we'll see. We shall see. But uh, I don't know, man. I just – sometimes they're both good receivers. So it's not like you can go really wrong with one or the other. But in the NFL, you, you kind of have to just do the small things sometimes and not make it complicated, which is where I went wrong with Zach Wilson. 
where he's just trying to do the like everything play when you just need to, you know, bat a couple singles and then get a double, get on base. And uh, I think that's more more neighbors, surprisingly. Every time I watch his I, – I think I'm going to go back and watch every target. Obviously, he'll have improved, so I'm not expecting him to be that same player, but I can get a gist of where he excels at and whatnot. <laughs> I need more help at wide receiver, I think. I think I do. Played, uh, so I'm a big video game player. I apparently I accidentally deleted my accidentally deleted my uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare last night somehow. So I had to wait for the whole fucking game to get downloaded. 242 gigs. It updated for I think it was two hours, three hours, somewhere around there. Two to three hours. I just sat on the couch waiting to play with my friends. It was like going back in the days where you had to go wait outside and wait uh and wait for the game to come out at midnight. Did I used to be like one of the first people there every time? Partially because I just liked the interaction, you know, like a bunch of like-minded people. I I didn't have a lot of friends growing up, so I always make always made new friends. I was always making. New acquaintances, not friends. It's just new acquaintances. Ugh, tits McGee, dude. Ugh. Come on, Jim. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What do we want here? We're going to take Russell Wilson. Kind of was kind of being quiet about it. But, but he pairs nicely with Warren, Pickens, and Fryermuth. Potentially one of these bad boys as well. about to fall asleep, y'all. Uh, I'm tired. I didn't, this draft is just taking way too long. Or I'm not patient. Or I'm just zoned out. Y'all, this is ridiculous. I know there's at least two practically auto-drafters. Taking forever, man. I don't have anything else to fucking talk about either. Props to the guys who just talk off their ass. I just I have nothing else to talk about. Um, I work for fourteen hours a day, and I don't have to talk about. What am I doing with two hundred thousand? What would I do with two hundred thousand? New car, maybe. Or actually, just pay off my student loans that I have. I might be off the ones. I've been waiting for them to get, you know, 
taken out because I went to a sketchy school and that promised me that I'd have a job in my field six months after I graduated, which was not true. I was went to school for video game programming and uh, web-based design. Neither of that is what I do. And I couldn't find a job, so. Wrong on two fronts. Kendrick Board, a best ball nation favorites. I mean, I'm not taking them, but pretty cool. Uh, we would need here. We need he's another quarterback. We could use another running back. I have good running backs, so just more for depth. I take one. We can take like Watson. In the last round. To date DJ. A higher upside late round pick. If he goes back to running, then he's a great pick there. He could end up in, as a giant. That's what I was thinking. Honestly, any of these three could end up as a giant. I'm going to take Blake Watson for the boy. Blake Watson. It's crazy. That boy gets lots of uh, gifts, man. Okay, so you guys will be donating when I get the get us get a super chat button. Shad White is going crazy low. I don't know. Uh, he could. He, he could do what he did last year. It's not out of the realm. Or he gets repl not replaced, but he gets another another person added. I, I, I like Blake. I like I like Rashad White. I'm not like going out of my way to get a bunch of Rashad White, but I'm not going to avoid him either. G units. Yay! I peed in the pool. Yay! Oh my God. Becky, look at her. Alright. I ended up with Amon Ross St. Brown, Devin A. Chain, Malik Neighbors, James Cook, George Pickens, Calvin Ridley, Christian Watson, J. J. Year Warren, Jalen Warren, Zamir White, Justin Herbert, Quentin Johnson, Pat Firemuth, Luke Musgrave, Michael Mayer, Jalen Polk, Ray Davis, Jermaine Burton, Russell Wilson, Daniel Jones, Blake Watson. Killed it like usual. Our boy Blake ended with Tyree Kill, Debo, Michael Pittman, Lamar Jackson, A. Rich. God damn. 
They were drafting fucking slow this entire fucking time, and they decided to fucking speed up those last two days. Just jackasses. Blake went with Lamar Jackson, A. Rich, Kamara, Evan Ingram, Zach Moss, Devin Singletary, Gabe Davis, Jonathan Brooks, Brandon Cooks, Tyler Algier, Elijah Mitchell, Tyler Conklin, Tyler Boyd. We got a little bit of a Tyler thing going on here. Traylon Burks, Trey Palmer, maybe it's just a T name thing, Kendrick Bourne, and Darren Waller. The upside is immerse or huge with Darren Waller in the last round. He, I mean, he may not play, right? But then it's your last round pick, whatever. But if he does play, like what a smash in the 20, 20th round. What a smash. The Bucks stayed the same. They should have graded their line. They should. I mean, everything should progress. But they were also one of the luckiest teams with injuries. So you take a little bit of regression there. Are they this year's New York Giants where they just take a big step backwards? Who knows? Who knows? Like, we don't know anything. It could get better. It could get worse. RB7 last year, and no one talks about him. I, I'm not going to not talk about him, but I'm not going to go out of my way to talk about him. Wasn't even a TD, TD merchant. Only he had nine total. That's, you know, that's not bad. It's not like, yeah, it's not like Ray most are good, but not bad. Daniel Jones versus Mayfield. I don't see a difference. <laughs> I see zero difference between those two. They're both just guys. Nothing special about one or the other. Alrighty. I'm going to go play some uh, Lego Fortnite with my son. I'll be back on Tuesday. And then, depending on this, uh, I have a... Baker Mayfield's not, like, amazing. Daniel Jones wasn't, like, terrible either. They're both just guys, dude. Trust. They're just guys. I don't know if you're a, a Buccaneers fan, but they're they're, they're both just guys. <laughs> Neither of them are taking their teams to the Super Bowl, in my opinion. But sub to the channel. I I, I need I want more subs. I haven't had a subs uh, a big sub growth in a while. I'd love to see like five before I get back. So please sub to the channel. We'll be back on Tuesday for the Alphabet Challenge. Should be fun. Uh, Tune in. It'll be a. We're gonna. We'll talk about it. Explain it more on Tuesday. But but we're gonna do that on Tuesday. Um. Yeah, I'll be around. If you want anything to talk about, just message me on Twitter. I'm always, I'll, I respond with, with the next couple of days. Yeah, I'm not doing an extra stream this week. I have a phone call, or I'm talking with with Bradley this weekend. Um, and then we're gonna go from there. I don't know if, what exactly it'll entail. But I, should say, I disagree. Uh, I mean, I, I think anybody can take the team to the to the Super Bowl. I just don't think the Bucks you know, are are not good enough. Is what I'm saying. I, I don't think the Bucks are that good. And I, I mean, I think if anything, Baker Mayfield is in a in a good spot because they're going to be down in a bunch of games because their defense didn't really get better. But the rest of the, like. The running offense, I don't really see it personally, but uh, I just I, I don't see that there's not much of a big difference between Mayfield and Daniel Jones. I mean, I give him plenty of credit. I, I think I, I don't think he's that good of a quarterback. But I, I don't think he's a bad quarterback, but I don't think he's he's not near the top ten, right? Like he's he's. 16, 7. All right, we got Let's do it here. Uh, quarterback. I'd rather have. I'd rather have Lamar. Mahomes, Allen. My brain's just like, I'm ready. I, he's just a guy. Dude. Like He's not like. He's got a good arm. But. 
Yeah, 15, 16. I, I, he's just a guy. 15, 16 is just a guy to me. If you're top 10, then we're talking about good quarterbacks. Top five are great quarterbacks. Top two, top three are like the great quarterbacks, like the amazing quarterbacks. All right. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. There you go.